Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this beautiful morning where the sun is out, the weather is getting warm and the summer is getting started. And what do we do on such a beautiful morning? Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting our crypto breakfast as we speak. Um, <laughs> Welcome everybody, this is Crypto Compass once again, and I will be giving you a update on what I am looking for throughout the day that is yet to come on the, um, on the chart. So uh, let's simply just really dive straight back into it because we all now know the drill. Uh, every morning we're updating with some analysis and of course throughout the day we have some progressions. Um, I'm not able to update you all the time, about every single progression uh, because these are basically day trading updates uh, if you have missed it i have done an announcement where i will be uh, opening up a discord community um, which is aiming to provide that little bit extra information throughout the day as the day plans are starting to evolve and uh, where you might be interested to let's say taking some scalp trades um, it's going to be focused on the educational side of things. So yeah, you know, if you're interested, I would say just, uh, check it out. The, um, the link is in the description below, uh, take a look. Um, and if you decide you want to be a part of it, then, um, if you pre-order a membership, then you get 20% off because, um, we are then very grateful that you want to, um, well, be part of something new from the very beginning. And uh, that is something I think that is commendable. And that's why we're doing a promotion. Anyway, now let's turn to the charts. Um, so we have seen a drop yesterday. Um, yesterday, essentially, we had a pretty long weekend f filled with holidays, right? So uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in many, many countries in the world, it was simply a either a bank holiday or, uh, or a religious holiday of some sort, um, meaning that the markets were closed over time, right? Uh, within, the, within that period of time, we have seen an increase in price, which consisted mainly of um, essentially shorts getting squeezed out of their positions but in the process of doing so we started breaking out of this range where in the previous uh, daily update I said like okay this is now very strong support after which I want to see continuation to the upside if this is going to hold if we start dropping back into the channel then I pretty much foresee a, well this as a deviation of the range and at the moment it definitely starting to look like that like that so there's really two things we can go from here on out either you can stick to trading that older range which is uh what i'm personally uh looking for to do but the second thing that you can do is also start incorporating this whole thing into fresher and updated analysis so you can actually be ahead of the curve um, and make your decision uh, before things are happening. And that is what I'm going to do in this video. So really quickly recap what actually happened, because if you know what happened in the past, then you can start anticipating on what might happen in the future. Um, in other words, Context is important. So we have this channel going on. Not gonna dwell too long about it because we have been covering this in depth uh, <laughs> for pretty much two and a half to three weeks straight. So currently in the channel. So that tells me that, okay, support we did had a bounce from and we now started dropping uh, back into the channel. Meaning that this is now being classed as a deviation from the range. However, there is also a possibility that because we have made a new high, we might actually get a change in market structure. And that is a new piece of information that I do want to explore. And that's what we're going to do now. So basically what I'm going to do is remove the channel for now. Um, and I'm going to build some context like, okay, what happened now? So in order to really know what happened, and this is on the BitGet chart, very, 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 very accurate analysis, to be fair, uh, simply pulling my volume levels. And as you can see, right on the POC, 
one of the very few exchanges that actually really respected this level very, very, very well. As you can see, POC over here, boom, got rejected. That is the technical reason, ladies and gentlemen, why we got rejected. We don't didn't got rejected or we didn't got that price action because China did something. We didn't got rejected or we didn't pump because uh, the US debt ceiling got extended. No, I really don't care about that. We <laughs> went there and we got rejected there because there's a volume level there. That's all that counts for me. All the other stuff, just noise, right? So keep it based, keep it grounded, and um, look at the facts, not at speculations. Um, right, so popping up those levels, then we have our levels over here, right? And at the moment, we're still in that overall value area. So... It's, it's not really super scary or anything. We simply just dropped down and we got rejected from that level. Um, but that can give us some guidance as to what we would be looking for next. So personally, I remain, keep on trading this range where, you know, <laughs> ultimately I am interested in taking profits on the short that I'm in and uh, looking for a long a little bit lower. Now, in this scenario, because we made a high, I might actually be looking for a potential higher low rather than just looking for longs only at the low of the range. That is a little bit of an addition to the plan that I had before, right? So it's I would say it's a plan 1.5, <laughs> I would say. So how can we do that? Well, this is now where we can start building some uh, building some confluence. So I've already prepared a few things for you guys where we do find now fresh levels that especially to the upside gives us now new confluence, right? So we have the POC and we have that that high on the daily close made a few days ago, two days ago to be exact on uh, on Sunday. Um, today, uh, by the way, also something to be aware of, it is the last day of the month, right? So that means that tonight we are going to see a monthly close. Um, to, in my experience, that does lead to some volatility on the day. Uh, so therefore, I'm not really surprised by some price action that we got going on uh, right now. At the moment, it's still very well contained. It's pretty much just literally still within a range. Um, so really nothing to be afraid of as long <laughs> as you keep on using the tools to your advantage and let that lead you to making your decision. Um, may, uh, moving on. Um, so point I'm trying to make is don't let your emotions be the guidance of your decisions, but you know, use your technical analysis, uh, and your experience to read the chart to your advantage, to take away that emotion and get that confidence. This is, by the way, also a very heavy emphasis that I will be teaching in the Discord community. Also, like the psychology and the mentality behind. Because I think that is way, way, way more important than actual analysis. Um, anyway, so we got uh, ourselves uh, these volume levels. We got ourselves some fresh levels built now, made off of the recent price action. And I'm going to add up also a new thing. And boop. There we go, right? That's the that's the level I was looking for. So you can already pretty much imagine that we now have a volume level, we have a mathematical level, which is called, which is coming from Fibonacci, and we have our old midline of the channel coming back into play. So in other words, what am I really looking for? In other words, what I am really looking for is actually I want to see just a little bit more of a drop where I could be looking to trade that higher low as we come into support that is backed up with technical confluence, three reasons why there is support, and that can give a high probability setup, which is where I will be looking to trade a long trade from if, again, if the reaction shows that we're going to bounce. Um, I do think there is a good chance that we do so because we have been giving reactions time and time and time again, right? So uh, that is a first opportunity where I would be looking for a long and then simply using my old construct 
uh, for example, to, to look for levels for resistance once again, where that first resistance is going to come in at that top of the channel again, I would really say actually slightly higher because we also have new levels over here. So that resistance would be coming in, uh, which is currently also fairly strong resistance uh, at that 27,800. Uh, and um, then just slightly to the top, we have uh, the biggest level that we are dealing with on the chart currently, which is set at 28,000. Very important level. And um, if we reclaim that particular level, then I would say there's a chance that we are going to see a bigger move that is going to expand uh, further into progression where we could, I would say, finally leave this range behind for some good time to come. Um, to the downside, obviously, if we <laughs> really start breaking down below and backtesting at, uh, it as resistance, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take the long right, so, because I need to see the reaction. But in the event that I do, that it initially, let's say, looks like this, and then we drop and then we lose it, well, then I'm obviously going to be forced to take a loss on the trade. And simply, I would be personally looking for just the next level down below, where you could literally now trade this bottom section of the channel once again, now with a fresh level made over the weekend, also dividing that once again in uh, two sections again, right? So I think this is a really educational video uh, where you could have now seen uh, not only the levels that I'm looking for, but also how I'm using the progression of the chart to not just stick with one ideas, but using the new information that is being presented to us to make adjustments and to adapt to potential new scenarios that might play out while maintaining the old structure that you know we have already established for over three weeks now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should watch first of all this series also why you should be uh, part of the discord community in my opinion because in the end this is how you get ahead of the curve and how you can take massive advantage in the market um, as you are progressing your way to financial freedom um, i think that is enough said for now really 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 short summary um, looking for just a slight further drop uh, down, uh, looking for uh, for an opportunity at 26,800. Um, big resistance above us is first of all 27,700. Then we have 28,000, which is a much higher time frame resistance. And then to the downside, simply I would be looking for the bottom of the range again, ultimately set at that 25,800 level. That was the daily update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching again and see you in the next video. Cheers.